Hey guys and welcome at Away From Keyboard. Not long ago in February there was a Nintendo Direct, in which Nintendo announced a remake of a Zelda game, which I think nobody saw coming. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on Game Boy will now be remade for the Nintendo Switch, so I thought it would be cool to take a look at the original on the Game Boy and see if it is still worth playing. Link's Awakening is the fourth Zelda game in the series and released on 1993 on the Game Boy. As a little boy I was crazy about Zelda, and still am today actually. I used to play Link to the Past non-stop on my Super Nintendo, and as soon as I learned that there was a Zelda game for the Game Boy, a Zelda game which I could play on the go, I knew I had to have it. Link's Awakening is not a part of an existing game, but an entirely original game. It uses elements of the NES Zeldas and the SNES Zelda, and they found a way to make it work with the limitations of the Game Boy. When Link reaches the edge of a screen, it will transition onto the next screen. At first it may feel a little slow, especially nowadays, but you will get used to it. Maybe funny to add, in the remake on the Nintendo Switch it seems that the entire world is open, without any screen transitions. After the events of A Link to the Past, the hero Link travels by ship to other countries to train for further threats. His boat gets destroyed in a storm, and Link washes ashore on Koholint Island. Here a girl named Marin, who looks a lot like Zelda, and her uncle Terrin find Link and nurse him back to good health. With the coming of Link, also a lot of monsters have appeared, and it is up to Link to defeat them. Find the instruments in each dungeon and wake the windfish, positioned on top of the mountain on the island. In its core, it is an action-adventure game with a lot of puzzle elements. Some people say the 2D Zelda games are amongst the hardest Zelda games, and I think the same goes for Link's Awakening. But Link's Awakening is forgiving. When you die, Link will respawn at the latest door opening he has been through, without any penalties. One thing you will probably notice is a lot of Mario references. You can find Goombas, a chain jump, and even a Mario lookalike. There are even some side-scrolling sequences, like in Legend of Link on the NES and Mario of course. Link's Awakening doesn't overstay its welcome, and you'll probably manage to finish the game in about 15 hours. The perfect Zelda game to play on the go. It even featured a save battery, so you could save anywhere you want. This ensures that you are able to play for a few minutes, save and lay the game away, to later pick it up again and continue where you have left. What also has to be said is that Link's Awakening features an amazing soundtrack, with an adjusted version of the Zelda theme and other amazing upbeat tunes. Whenever I play this game, it's hard not to move my feet. A few years later in 1998, a new remastered version was released on the Game Boy Color, which was called Link's Awakening DX. It featured a dungeon exclusive to the DX version, which used the mechanic of colors of course. So to the conclusion. Is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening worth playing? I would definitely say yes. This game is still perfect to play at home or on the go. Every few years I have to replay this gem and I'm definitely gonna buy the remake on the Nintendo Switch whenever it releases later this year. 